Are you a gardener who bought an avocado from the grocery store, ate the fruit, took the seed, planted it into potting soil, and now you're stuck with a seedling avocado that most likely won't produce good edible fruit? What do you do? Hi, I'm Jeff, the Tropical Garden Guy. Today we're going to do an avocado grafting video using a seedling that I have been growing for the last couple months and we're going to graft it with a known variety that will produce us good fruit. But first, if you like this channel, if you like growing exotic tropical fruit trees in marginal climates, click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, comments and questions. Leave them in the comment section below. I do my very best to get back to everybody's comments and questions. So we're going to take a look at the grafting demonstration right here. So what we have here today is some very old avocado budwood. And I'm gonna graft it onto this young, uh, I believe it's Mexico La Grande from last year, uh, seedling. For those of you that don't know, the reason why we graft onto avocados is that you don't know what kind of tree this will become, uh, if it'll ever produce fruit, Sometimes they will, maybe 10 years down the road, and then the uh, seedlings will, um, you know, it may produce very inferior fruit, you may not like the taste. And so our goal is to graft budwood from a tree that we know produces good fruit that we like. And in this case, it's reed. And what it is, is reed avocado is a delicious round fruit, um, very nutty, a uh, little better than Hass in my opinion. The fruit size is usually right around a pound, pound and a half. I love them. And so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to graft this reed budwood onto this young seedling. Now, the thing is, this budwood has been in the refrigerator for six months. As you can see the date on this, February 28th, 2024. And so let's come over here to the bench and we will do a quick grafting demonstration and if it takes maybe i'll do a follow-up so here we go first we have our pruning shears we have a, a, a razor knife that i like to use especially for these small uh, seedlings and then we have parafilm m which i use for grafting tape this is my favorite now i know what you guys are going to say oh you got rusty uh an old rusty um, knife well it's been sprayed with it may be a little rusty but that's not going to bother anything i did spray it with disinfect it with uh, bleach and so um that's basically it now let's take a look at the budwood here the budwood has been in the refrigerator for six months i got this from a friend of mine named kearney as you can see there's some rot already starting on this um not good, but some of the younger buds or the older buds are still doing really good. So you guys can take a look at that. Which one would you do the grafting on? Uh, the one with the, I think I'm gonna try this one. We're, we're gonna try this one first. So what we do is we have our tape. And what I do is I tape up my bud stick. And the reason why, number one, I don't have a greenhouse. Number two, it's been in 110 degree range um, for the last uh, month or so. So, you know, 110 is just a little warm for, uh, for grafting, but you know, I wanted to take a chance and do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this with some old grafting tape. And so what we wanna do is we stretch it out a little bit as we're wrapping it. Let me see. This is very old. I gotta get out my new new uh, parafilm. This one's this parafilm is probably yeah, it's pretty old. This parafilm is probably five years old, and sitting outside, it tends to get dry. Just make it over the top of that last bud. Now the the end bud generally doesn't really do a good job of uh, taking, but I'm gonna leave it on there. So what we want to do is we want to find a spot on the the uh, seedling where they'll match up. I'm going to cut the bottom part off this. Hopefully these, yeah, that'll do. And then we want to find a spot where it will 
match up. I'm going to cut it right here first. And then what we do is we we compare the diameters of the uh, of the budwood to the rootstock. That looks about right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get a good good cut on this. We're going to make a wedge, and then we're going to try to match up the cambium layers. I'm going to go this way. Just a little bit of paint on this. I'm I'm not sure why there's paint on this bud stick. I have to ask my friend Kern how that got on there. As you can see, we got a wedge on there. It looks pretty good. Not perfect, but so then we want to see, do they match up? Now the cambium layer is this right here in between the green bark and the white wood. If I was to peel this skin up, if I was to touch that, the skin would probably peel since it's rapidly, uh, it's, um, the bark is uh, not sticking and it would it, you could see but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut right down the middle of this seedling I left that one little leaf because I just kind of it, it does give a little bit of hormones uh, to the to the roots from that one leaf I believe so what we're doing is we're going to cut right down the middle you want to cut make your cut a little bit longer than your the wedge in your um, budwood. Now let's see. See where it's nicely lined up. You want to just don't want that little bark to to slip while you're doing this. You slip it in. Take a look. See how right here the barks are matching up. And the most important thing is that the cambia matches up. So I'm going to push it down just a smidge more. Oh, it won't go anymore. So that's pretty much it for that. Now we're going to, I'm going to have to take a little more parafilm. I was going to say my wife is going to yell at me for cutting that on the... Uh, on the bench, but I'm making marks in my bench, but since she's at the ca on the camera right now, she can't. <laughs> Cannot chastise me for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this down here. And the goal is with this parafilm is you want the, it, you want it to hold together while it's callousing over. And you also want to keep it from dry, the, the bud stick to from drying out. The seedling generally doesn't because it's 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 been growing rapidly growing and so it's 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 not a problem with that but you just want to wrap you want to wrap your budwood really good you also don't want your uh there we go oh my goodness fumble fingers but it didn't hurt. There we go, we've got that. So what I also like to do, I like to tighten it down a little bit. The uh, the wedge, I like to make sure that as the seedling and the wedge start to grow, they will callus over. And those callus sometimes will push, defeat the uh, graft union by pushing the bud stick out. And so what I like to do is I like to put a rubber band on there just to tighten it down a little bit. I tighten it down, but not too tight because this is a really soft bud stick. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, that is a um, reed grafted onto a seedling uh, I believe this seedling of Mexico La Grande. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the shade. And I will know in about 9 to 14 days whether or not this uh, has taken. My name is Jeff. If you like this channel, click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody's comments and questions. If you're interested in my vlog channel, my number two channel, it's called Modesto Jeff. 
I do giveaways, seed giveaways, and I may do some budwood giveaways a little bit later on this year. You have a wonderful day.